Hello YouTube and welcome back to my channel where today we're going to do something that we haven't done for a really long while and Loki is going to try and get involved as much as possible. So recently I have taken up a kind of new hobby because as we know I really like drawing anyway. This is called automatic drawing but the way I do it is slightly different from the way that it is traditionally done. So typically I start off with just a piece of paper as you saw and I just spend a couple of minutes, well seconds to minutes just scribbling on a piece of paper with a really light pencil so that you can't see or, or you won't be able to see it once I've finished. And then I look at the scribbles on the piece of paper and I see what comes out or jumps out at me uh, on the piece of paper. Sometimes it's uh, portraits like um, sometimes it's mythical creatures like this particular drawing. Sometimes um, in some of the ones I've done there have been uh, landscapes and scenic views. So one of the ones that I'm working on on my Twitch channel quite often at the moment is a lighthouse on a, um, on a cliff. Now I've never actually drawn landscapes before so if you want a fun learning experience or join me on my fun learning experience then I highly recommend that you come and join me um, on Twitch and see uh, what, how, how much of a mess I'm making. So with this particular automatic drawing we came up with this uh, particular, uh, started off as a mermaid. However, she does not end up as a mermaid. She is what we have decided to lovingly call a seaweed sprite. Now, a seaweed sprite, not only sounding like an ecologically friendly drink, as was mentioned on my chat when this was being done, uh, is a spirit. So it is not a mermaid per se, because not all mermaids are spirits. Uh, some mermaids are. Uh, but not all, all mermaids are spirits. Uh, so she, because uh, it was decided that she, this this creature here is is female, uh, lives in a clump of seaweed, uh, currently off Cornwall. <laughs> but that's where this particular seaweed sprite lives. However, seaweed sprites as a whole, we decided, are um, born when seaweed, um, when a new seaweed patch emerges. They aren't drowned spirits, they aren't um, mermaids, they aren't born in a traditional way. And literally we decided that when they, um, when a seaweed patch comes into creation, so a new, a new patch starts to grow, they create their own uh, seaweed sprite that lives among their fronds and blends in with their fronds to try and protect it. Now obviously, because humans are humans, they're not managing this very well, they're trying their hardest, but typically seaweed sprites are very inquisitive and friendly, and they don't particularly want to harm you, so they will wait until you do some damage to their home first, before they do any damage back in return. However, this can mean um, that obviously the damage is done first before they retaliate, and it can mean that they their home is destroyed before they get a chance to retaliate. So that is a downside to the seaweed sprites, but typically they go among their fronds and they will watch you from their little bed of seaweed. And if you come over to them, they will follow you. So if you are boarding, for example, surfboarding, and you see something below you and you end up going underwater and it's not a seal or there's no fish there or anything like that, it was probably the local seaweed sprite checking in to see what you're doing because they are interested in what you are doing. However, if you leave your board in the seaweed or throw some, sea, uh, some stuff, rubbish, let's say, into your seaweed patch, they will typically start off with throwing it back at you. If this does not work to dissuade you and you continue to throw stuff into the seaweed, you better not be singing, uh, swimming, not singing, swimming in that seaweed because then they will grab you and drown you and typically that's what your cause of death will be. There will be no damage to you, they're not going to bludgeon you to death, they are literally going to grab you with their fronds of hair and hold you down until you die. But, typically like they said, they're very friendly. 
So, I hope that you've enjoyed this little voiceover. It's it's pretty much that's all I've got to say about this. Please do uh, continue to watch the video and see what the end um, the end product is. <laughs> Uh, if you have enjoyed this video, please do like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you next time. If not, I hope that you've enjoyed your time here and I hope that you have a great day. Take care, have fun guys and goodbye.